Good morning, Sarah Nation. I uh, hope everybody's having a great Monday. It is April the 6th, 2020. Uh, let's just go over a few things to get everybody caught up on this new week. Uh, don't forget, it is Monday, so that means it is packet pickup day. For all of you that are picking the uh, packets up at your individual campuses, that will be going from 8.30 to 3.30. And don't forget, if you do uh, run into an issue of picking them up at, at that time, uh, all packets can be picked up uh, at the high school from 4 o'clock to 6 o'clock this evening. If you have any questions, again, feel free to call your campus principal or call us here at the Central Administration Building. Also, <clears throat> just so you know, uh, parents and community, uh, as we've mentioned many, many times, uh, with this being a flowing, fluid situation uh, that uh, we're dealing with, we met uh, as a staff with all the principals last Friday, and we are gonna be making some adjustments to our grading, our assessments, and our packets, also our virtual online, lessons. Uh, you will start seeing that uh, this week and definitely next week. Uh, we'll go into it more in detail next week when it's in full uh, force in terms of that everybody's doing the same thing. But uh, we, we've just felt like that we needed to tweak that a little bit, uh, make it more, uh, shall we say, accessible and more uh, user-friendly to the students, the parents, and all of those that are actually uh, working on these lessons. Uh, our teachers have done a tremendous job. I've bragged on them many times, but again, we just felt like there needed to be a few adjustments, and I think uh, the parents and the students are gonna like these changes. Uh, another topic that has been coming up quite a bit uh, is graduation. <clears throat> I want you to know that all of us uh, won't the seniors of 2020 to have the opportunity to graduate. And when I mean graduate, I mean walk the stage, uh, do some type of ceremony um, to honor the accomplishments of these great seniors. Uh, at the current time, we all hope and pray that we will be back in school on the week of May the 4th. Uh, we'll see how uh, the crisis carries out up until that point. We'll see what the governor has to say as we get closer to that point. Um, and obviously if that were to happen, we would try to have graduation as scheduled. But if that does not happen, just know that myself, Mr. Ritchie, uh, our entire staff have been working behind the scenes on backup plans of things that we could do. And just rest assured, if you're a senior, that we are going to do everything possible to have some type of ceremony uh, for the seniors of 2020. You deserve it. Uh, you've earned it. And we're going to do everything we can do to make that happen. Also, uh, on a bright note, shout out to Portia Bryant, our student council sponsor at the high school. Shout out to the student council officers for coming up with some dress up days this week. Uh, even though we're all in quarantine, they came up with some great ideas. Uh, it's on the Big Spring ISD Facebook page. It's also on my Facebook page. Uh, great job, Student Council, and great job of making uh, uh, something that is, again, a positive step for our community and all of our kids and our uh, staff you know, to do something fun at home. And, and I just appreciate the student council for coming up with that. And don't forget, uh, the steer hunt challenge is still going on. Uh, myself, Dr. Thompson, and Mr. Bancroft threw that challenge out last week. Let's continue to flood the Big Spring ISD Facebook page with your favorite steer pictures. Let's continue to be positive. Let's continue to work as a team as we get through these unprecedented times because we are going to come out on top. We are going to come out stronger. And I know that for a fact because I know what kind of people we have in Steer Nation. We are Steer Strong. Hope all of you have a great Monday and we'll talk to you again on Wednesday. Go Steers.